Hidden Object Guru here, back for more Dead to Rights 2, which is, I don't know if you know this, a famously terrible video game. Like, real bonkers bad. Are you being silly again? Oh, you're making references to Monster Hunter. You see, uh, my lady here would rather we still be playing Monster Hunter. Yep. So, uh, she's gonna keep just... No matter what else we do, we're just, she's just gonna keep I talking about Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter. Which, yeah. you know what? I can't really fault her for, for. Monster Hunter is... Well, not perfect. The next best thing. Did that guy just fall? Ow! So, Apparently they can use exploding barrels against you. Hey, fell over! Uh -oh. But after seeing that video game, I would totally dress them all in Monster Hunter clothes, which would make them have really angry. Oh, they would hate you. So we would you. have a household full of, like, angry kids. Yeah, there's no question about which that. Which actually sounds like a dream come true. I'm totally okay with that. You have interesting dreams. Yeah. I need footage of the game, Horror King, because I'm going to do a video about the Dead to Rights series. Should we also do a book about the Dead to Rights series? Maybe. It seems like something that history should remember. Now that I've discovered that it's entire, like 100% responsible for the most uh, the most important action franchise of the 2010s, like this move, this video game invented John Wick. So I think people need to know about that, and so I'm gonna have to make videos on that subject. Sorry you didn't win the plushie cam. Better luck next time. I think we have three owls. At least three. Possibly four. I've lost count of how many owls. She's having real trouble with that safe. Okay. Okay, one. Two. It's true. I'm a decent writer. Uh, some people have said that. On. Pupper, attack! <laughs> Seriously, in Dead to Rights Reckoning, you could use the puppy to kill bosses. Like, think about what a game changer that is. The game has officially been changed, people. Thank you. Silenced SMG? Nice. Why'd you guys get up on the stage? Didn't you realize that's just gonna make you easier to hit by me? The person who's spending all this time shooting at you? Stop going to shotguns! I have to fight guys at medium range here. Shotguns are sorely... So, sorely... Solely... Close range weapons in this game. I have full Molotovs, really? I'm actually was surprised by that. By the way, that is the... You okay? Yep. She's gonna be okay, people. Like, I know it's kind of meant to be funny, but it's actually a little too ridiculous that her... that Ruby's method for trying to open a safe is to just pull harder and harder on the safe door. <laughs> I, I find that pretty funny. It, it's a little... It's a little much, you know... But then again, it's not like this game has a really consistent, serious tone. It's tonally pretty much just terrible and silly. What just happened? I don't know. What just happened? Why is it saving? Oh, I finished the thing. <laughs> no! Because you just had to survive for X amount of time. Oh. Triad, Jack. Black Dragon Triad. Asian gang. Triad, not Mafia. Mafia. Triads. They all take the same bullets. Hmm. Testosterone much? Wow. Hong Se's got a place high on the hill. They all take the same bullets? Jack looking up from six feet under. Sorry. Jack, four-wheel vehicle. Crash. I sense a pattern here. 
East meets West. Oh, God, even worse, East meets West. What is wrong with you, Jack Slate? Bad. Seriously, once again, we started the level by crashing into something. Except the difference is... What kind of a running gag is it if for one of the levels we didn't do it? Yeah. You just don't understand running gags this game. Jack, you gotta start bringing more than one magazine full of bullets when you're going to kill a bunch of people. Yeah. Also, I can't stress how bad this motorcycle jacket looks on you. You just look terrible. Yeah, that's another real issue with this game. It's incredibly hard to get a, uh... You okay, woman? To get a disarm started. Like, as you can see, I stopped dead for half a second. Like, one thing about Dead to Rights that you can't say is it was hard to do a disarm. Basically, the second you press that button, if you were anywhere near a dude, the disarm just happens. You couldn't do it if you had a gun in your hands, which made it a little complicated, and that is an improvement here. But it also, like, there should be a reach out and stickiness to the disarms. Then I didn't get to do a disarm there, and I don't understand why. You okay, woman? Yep. Alright, that's good to hear. Okay. No one would lie in such a ridiculous fashion if they weren't comfortable. I hold this truth to be self-evident. I don't know. Science? Yep. No, uh, like, creating a plot where you find out that Jack knew that there was a set of files out there with blackmail and everyone in the world? It's a really big problem. Also, I gotta say, that judge doesn't come off, <coughs> excuse me, smelling like a rose if he was building this giant blackmail folder. Oh, well, he was planning to use it to prosecute people. That's not the job of a judge. So many shotguns. Why did I do a neck break? I was taking the shotgun. Out. So I have two green lights, but for some reason, even though I had two green lights, I couldn't do the, uh... I don't know, take out this guy, Shadow. I'm very low on health. No. Is Floopsy over there? Of course Floopsy's over here. Uh, kind of busy, but I will in a second. Alright, here's Floopsy. Uh, in case you're wondering, my lady has a minor back issue. And she thought the only thing that could help her with that back issue was a plush bunny. And I am not going to debate that logic in any way, shape, or form. What I was trying to do was prop my phone up so I wouldn't have to hold it. Um, so that I could just literally look at the comment section and look at my phone. And nice. Uh, and Floopsie decided... That was very awesome with Loopsy. I don't like this nonsense where you lose a henchman you've uh, turned into a shield after X amount of time. Like, no. They should stay until I run out of bullets or they're dead. And, by the way, when I run out of bullets, they die. Because you always save the last bullet for your hostage. Which, God. Saying that out loud really does make Jack Slate sound like a monster, doesn't it? Yep. I guess that's why we love him so much. He can't be tamed by polite society. Jack Slate. Just a terrible person. Seriously, can we play Monster Hunter again? Eventually. Ugh, you suck. And you're the worst. You're the best. That's true, I am. Say I can't debate that point at all. Feel guilty. <laughs> Not even a little. Alright. Sorry, guys. A valuable lesson was learned by all. Don't mess with Jack Slate. Or you'll be slated for death! Sorry about that. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, so because it's so much harder to do, it's not like a desperation move anymore. Now it's like the strategic way you refill your dive meter. And that just doesn't feel right. Again, the dive meter should be refilling every time you kill a guy. Like, that should be your reward. So as long as you keep the kill chain going, you keep being able to do the slow-mo dives. <laughs> That's a good way to think about it, Brian. I think this game was made by fans of the actual Jack Slate. So everything in the first game actually happened. And this was like fans wanting to make a Jack Slate video game. Right. So they just didn't know all the facts. Where he's less objectionable. Jack. And kind of an idiot. More so than in the main game. Whoa. You'll find out. Get over here. Oh, he did a Mortal Kombat reference. Like, your reference-based nonsense is one of the things I find most contemptible of you, about you. Uh, Dead to Rights 2, Jack Slate. No! Woo! That was close. I don't. Very good point, Brian. Very good point indeed. What is this on the wall? Is that a still from a movie? And if so, what movie? What would be funny, Horror King? We're gonna investigate that later. Alright, got my light SMG. I'm ready to rumble. Oh, whoops. I dove out of his embrace. That was weird. Light SMG, let's do this. This is not the way I'm supposed to go. I'll figure it out, eventually. Yes, secret armor. The best kind of armor. Get him! Thank you, Shadow. Uh-oh. Weird that I didn't auto-target the guy directly in front of me. I'm not complaining per se, I just find it weird. There we go. The Jack Slate Special, Executing Hostages. <laughs> oh god I hear you Brian he is he is not a handsome man anymore he's a real Ugmo just like Lisa Simpson huh? don't you remember she called herself an Ugmo oh, when she saw the now. wait did he just say his name was Hop Singh no he couldn't have said that Hong Se okay <laughs> Oh god, I'm so glad I misheard that. Okay, that's one. Oh, I'm actually fighting the boss. It was quite explicitly uh, a ridiculous caricature. Okay, I bounced the grenade back at myself. Let's just reload that. Wow, grenades do no damage to this guy. Like, a weirdly small amount of damage. So this is just a thing bosses do in the game? They get stunned? <laughs> so weird. Yes, oh my god. If it turned out later on that Chris Chibnall had also been responsible for ruining Dead to Rights... That would be an amazing twist. Oh my god, so I've been going back and rewatching Doctor Who. So, obviously, I've been rewatching a bunch of Tom Baker, but I went back and watched a bunch of. Matt Smith. Uh, uh, David Tennant, then Matt Smith. And I'm really enjoying Matt Smith stuff. I'm gonna get to Peter Capaldi soon. Like, I'm loving it all. And I'm like, 
Assault rifle I found had only 10 bullets in it? That's serious? Did you just say not on a first date? You're being very weird about the people you take hostage to. Oh, forget it, you jerks. Alright, he's down to two health bars. I'm gonna refill my meter here and hopefully use that to kill him. Finish him off, as it were. Where is he? I am very bad at throwing these Molotov cocktails. Also, he just ran through flame and took no damage, so that's just a pretty, pretty talented dude. Alright, he seems to be stunned. It's weird that sometimes the bosses forget to attack if you throw grenades at them. Maybe it's just the Molotov cocktails, but it is strange. Come here. I oh, just die already. God, it's over. You lost. Okay, I didn't come anywhere near running out of dive power. So if running out of dive power isn't what makes you drop hostages. Why does it drain dive power when you take hostages? This game's mechanics make no sense. We got him! Take that, Hongtze! You shouldn't have done that, Brian. Peter Capaldi was the best Doctor Who. There, I said it. Except for Tom Baker. How'd it go? Oh, yeah. Something like this. You bastard! Pull me up! Yeah, Peter Capaldi was the best. There's something going down on the docks tonight! Thanks. Remember when I promised to kill you last? I lied. He's literally just doing bits from Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. <laughs> this is such a terrible Shh. game. Did he say your luggage yet? No. Uh, if only. Fix. Did he just say fish? What is what is going on in this game? And now, for no reason, at least I smashed through the wall again. And now, for no reason. Way, boy. Uh, we're back fighting people bare hands. Which means what's really happening is I'm sending my dog to murder people. Because I hate the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. And again, another... Oh, totally, Brian. And another uh, great move, by the way, uh, Dead to Rights Reckoning, was removing all of the hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat from the game. You could still go bare-handed and punch people. There was just never any reason to. Oh, you can't do executions, sadly. What happened? Oh, my, my phone's not going to charge. No! Not your phone! Will the charging cable reach me? Uh, no. No, it won't. I'm sad, too. Damn, that is cold, Brian. Although I don't disagree. So I said sick and boy, and I heard the dog move. This shadow gets confused by barriers he has to knock down. Yeah, I just re recently rewatched the uh, Day of the Doctor special. Yeah. The one with John Hurt. Oh, oh so good. God. And that moment at the end with the. Oh, when Tom Baker, I know. So good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, pal. Even though I knew it was coming, I felt like I was watching Just the it. moment when you watch that, and you're like, why does this museum look like the Do Tom Baker's TARDIS? And then you find out, and you're like, oh, okay, well, this is the best show. Oh, thank God. All right. And that lovely play on words. Yep. Oh, Tom Baker can yeah, Tom Baker's the best. I always wondered if they tried to get uh, Peter... Uh, Davison. He'd already done a special with his son-in-law, so, you know. It would be a, a bit much to ask him to come back as well, and it would have pulled focus away from the, uh, from the big Tom Baker reveal. That's true. It would have been too distracting. I just always 
always find it amusing that David Tennant is, you know, is selling one of the dollars. I know. Uh, did I see your fun? Woo! Oh my god, how is this game so bad? Oh, there's health up there. I have to go through a long rigmarole to get it, but I will. Do these guys respawn in infinitely? Am I just supposed to skip past them? I honestly can't tell. Yeah, that was pretty good. Huh? What?! That little bit there's baseball bad executions in this game? How am I just now finding out that there's baseball bat executions in this game? How did I do it? All right, let me try it again. Oh, it's a disarm against a guy. You can do disarms while hand-to-hand -hand fighting. You just have to do it against a guy who's got a weapon. Okay, I didn't understand that. Yeah, that's the seventh time a bunch of dudes. Okay, he just stabbed that man in the gut with a meat cleaver. Which isn't how anything works, so... And now I'm dead. I just skipped this. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Brian. The mini-movie they did. The little uh, special where David Tennant and Peter Davison both played the Doctor meeting each other during a time kickoff. Oh, and now we're shooting again. Okay, why not? All right, so we're going to take a break here because I don't hate myself that much. Uh, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with us. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. See you back here for more Dead to Rights in the next item on the playlist. Until then, I'm going to say, that's right, Au Revoir.